the results also came and that also confirmed the two tumors in but then fortunately they were only confined in the prostate nat was diagnosed with prostate cancer at the age of 67. like many others he initially struggled with the news with the unwavering support of his family nat decided to confront his diagnosis head on we had to decide which option to take that's what we decided with the family and the children to go in with a radical prostatectomy, where the, the prostate gland will entirely be removed. It was a difficult decision, but one that ultimately saved his life. Lo and behold, um, by God's grace, by the following Sunday, which was almost one week, I was discharged. But then, one revelation that came to us was that even on the hospital bed, on the third day, when the doctors were coming around, and with the catheter on, I saw the thing. <laughs> Today, Nat is a beacon of hope for those grappling with prostate cancer. To provide a comprehensive understanding of prostate cancer, we turn to Dr. Bernard Tobo, a consultant urologist with years of experience in treating this disease. Prostate is actually from Latin prostato, for gatekeeper. And that seeks to suggest one of its you know, key rules, especially when you're below 40. It helps with urinary continence. And then the prostate also produces over 50% of the human ejaculate, I'm talking about the semen. Dr. Towe explains that prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men worldwide. Prostate cancer is a disease of aging. It tends to be more prevalent as you age, so you find a higher incidence among those in the uh, 70s and above. Um, but we've started seeing cases in those who are younger, and generally it tends to you know, occur earlier in those with very strong familial links. But how can one protect themselves from prostate cancer? Dr. Tobo elaborates on the various treatment options available, ranging from surgery and radiation therapy to active surveillance. When you have frequent sexual encounters, then it tends to cleanse or decongest or protect the prostate. At least if you can have three times in a week, that should be good. Every year you get your prostate checked. Dietary modifications are very, very important. Dr. Bright, the Chief Medical Officer at SINLAB Ghana, highlights the prevalence of prostate cancer in our society. The men who actually develop prostate cancer in their lives, of which that's about 60% of men who develop prostate cancer, we actually have 75% of these people actually dying as a result of the complications of prostate cancer, of the prostate cancer itself. He shared some alarming statistics from his facility indicating an uptick in the number of cases in recent years. Since the beginning of the year, Sinlab has tested about 5,500 men and of this number, we have 5,100 that are men above the age of 40. And that's what we encourage, that men above the age of 40 should test as often as they can. And of this number, we have 33%, which translates into 1,600 of these men actually testing values of PSA that are above the normal range, which is above four. And these people are people who have issues or some issue with the prostate, of which prostate cancer could be one of those issues. Dr. Bright emphasizes that promoting awareness and encouraging men to undergo routine prostate screenings could significantly reduce the burden of the disease. Prostate cancer is a formidable opponent, but it can be overcome. Nat's triumphant journey and our medics' insights shed light on the importance of awareness, early detection, and a multidisciplinary approach to treatment. Prostate cancer can be challenging, but with the right support and medical expertise, like in the case of Nathaniel, it is a battle that can be fought and won. Money, TV3 News, Accra.